Do you recommend using an ortho rehab clinic or one that specializes in neuro injuries? And are there um, approaches different? Here's the thing. In my experience, I don't think a lot, I don't think most people have a choice. So I think most people have to either go where their insurance pays or they have to go with what's available around them, which is kind of unfortunate because I, I do think that um, not necessarily a board certified neurotherapist. I don't necessarily think you need to find a board certified neurotherapist, but I think neuro focused clinics usually can spend more time with someone. So I do think that that's one value to finding a neuro specific clinic. Today's product spotlight is the Not Bad Hook by Pro Stretch. Now, I've been using these kind of like self-massaging tools for a really long time for some of those hard to reach areas when you can't afford it or you don't have time to get into a massage therapist. They are so great for reaching those hard to reach areas that you really can't massage on your own. This tool makes that possible. Uh, the plastic on these makes it really nice because it slides really nice along a muscle. The nice thing about this one by Pro Stretch is it has these handles on it that make it easy to hold on to, and it is a lot lighter than the ones that um, I've used in the past, as well as it's smaller, so it, you can travel with this. The one I have or that I've used in the past is shaped more like an S, and it's a lot bigger than this. But some of the things that are great about this, again, is to reach some of those hard-to-reach areas. Uh, if you're someone where you've ever been to a massage therapist and they get in between your shoulder blades, this tool works really, really good to hit that area. It's also great for those upper traps. Now, if you're someone that's had a neurologic injury that's affected your upper extremity, the upper trap component of it is one that I think is particularly valuable. Patients love it when I get into that upper trap. So those muscles right on the top of the shoulder close to the neck, uh, because when you have a weak arm, you just have a tendency to kind of use those neck muscles a little bit more to try and get that arm to move. So this makes it very easy. You can even hold on to it with your stronger arm if this is your weaker arm and it's in a that hook is in a perfect spot to reach that area. The other area for those of you that have like a spastic leg that seems to get a lot of tight and a lot of like trigger point areas in it are the muscles on the outside of the hip. So this again makes it very convenient to get in along those muscles. That's one of the areas that I like to use it on. Just the way that that hook is angled makes it really easy to apply the right amount of pressure to that area. And then also what I call the QL region in the lower back. So again, if you've ever had your massage therapist kind of get into those low back muscles, you know it's almost impossible to do that on your own, but these hooks really make that possible and it just, it really does feel good. So those are some of the ways that I use this hook. Oh, the other one is the quads, which for a lot of you, again, is also very tight. And again, this one may, um, having this little plastic ball on the end of that hook and just sliding it up and down that quadricep muscle is also a great um, way for those of you that have had a neurologic injury to use this tool. Now, as with most of the products that I spotlight on this channel, ProStretch did send this to me for free. A link to learn more about this product and to purchase it is the first link in the description below. By clicking on that link, we do receive a small commission. So if you wanna learn more about this product, or you want to purchase this particular cane and you want to support this channel, click on that first link in the description below. And now back to the video. Um, but I've had patients tell me bad experiences. I won't name any of the facilities, but there is actually one very large franchise chain that says they specialize in neuro that my patient um, went out of town and for a while and wanted to find a physical therapy clinic and we thought that that would be the best um place for them while they were out of town and it was like a factory so therapist was working with like three patients which is very typical of like kind of an ortho setting so i would say that that's one big difference um that i think is problematic because you need a lot of that one-on-one -on -one. now the other sometimes problem that actually I'm working with someone right now that just spent a year in an ortho clinic and now is coming to me that 
he experienced was that um, they were addressing everything from kind of like an orthopedic perspective. So, you know, they were working on like, uh, like abdominal strengthening and they were working on like, you know, correcting his pelvis and, and that's a very orthopedic and, you know, sometimes it's good to zoom in and get very like specific with a, with a structure, but in neuro, like it's very important to like zoom out so you can get to, and I've probably made this mistake before as well. So I'm not saying that I've never done this, but getting, focusing too much on like a structure and not zooming out and looking at the person as a whole. And I think neuro trained therapists are probably better at that. So this guy literally spent the last six months working on correcting a rotated pelvis to, to improve his walking. And I can't make that connection. Like that to me is there's a miss, there's a mismatch in how those two things are really related or how correcting a rotated pelvis is going to help his walking. So I, I don't think that's the ever, all the ortho clinics, but I do think there is that risk because they are very structure focused. So I don't know. I, I hate to answer this question because there are a lot of good therapists out there. I have friends that work in orthopedic clinics that could totally handle, you know, not handle, but are very skilled, you know, and could could definitely work on neuro injuries. So I don't think I can answer like black, it's not black and white, but those are the things that I would look out for. If you're going to someone that's an orthotherapist, are they focusing on like strengthening a specific muscle or correct mobilizing a joint, you know, or are they very, are they spending your whole session focused on one very small problem and are they ever zooming out and relating that back into the bigger picture? And are you working on the actual functional activity as well? And if not, then I would say maybe just try and find even another orthopedic clinic if that's all you have in your area. If you liked that video and you want to learn more exercises on how to improve your walking, definitely check out this video over here or that video over there. If you want even more help, check out our gold membership program where you'll get access to over 300 exercises that are not here on YouTube, as well as access to our monthly lives where you can get your questions answered.